Alright, next is to find your backward ratio. This is the definition of backward ratio is equal to the work of your compressor divided with your the work of your turbine. And in this case, since your turbine has an isentropic efficiency of 85%, so you are going to make use of this actual value. So when you expand this equation, it will become Cp T2 minus with your T1 over Cp T3 minus your T4a. Since the questions tell you that uh, it is uh, constant uh, throughout the process, so the Cp value of uh, your compressor and your turbine is about the same so you can cancel out your CP and left with you these equations so you T1 and T2 is already given T3 and T4 you have tried uh, you have solved previously so you plug in all the value and finally you will get 0 0.393 or you can left it in percentage, which is 39.3%. This value simply means that uh, the compressor is using 39.3% of the work produced from the turbine. Next is to find your thermal cycle efficiency which is the definition is your work net over your Q in so the work net here is the works that happens between your turbine minus with your pump over with your Q in can make use your 1 minus Q out over your Q in. So let's say if you want to solve it using the this one first. So you need to look for your work of your turbine and the work of your pump. So the work of your turbine is actually between T3 minus your T4A minus with the work of your pump which is T2 minus your T1 and because you are dealing with uh, because you have your Q in in kilojoule per kg So you will need to times this with your CP in order to cancel out the Kelvin in your temperature and then finally you will get your thermal cycle efficiency is equal to 35.8%. Now, if you wanted to use your thermal cycle efficiency, which is equal to 1 minus your Q out, so your Q out is happening between your 4A and 1. So this is your uh, T4A minus your T1 will be over your Q in, which is 1000 kilojoule per kg. Therefore, in order to get equivalent unit over here so your Kelvin over here must be times with your CP and finally you will get almost the same which is 35.8% too so finally the question asks you what if your turbine efficiency have increased by 
fifteen percent. So eighty five plus your fifteen is actually working on hundred percent. Hundred percent efficiency conditions. So you know that your isentropy efficiency of your turbine is equal to isentropy work divided by sorry it is your actual work divided with your isentropic value so in this case it is cp uh, t3 minus your t4a over your cp t3 minus your t4s and now that you have 100 percent Alright, so CP value is the same, so you can cancel out. So now that you are trying to look for your new T4A, you can label here as new. So you plug in all the value that you get before your T3 and your T4S, and then make sure you solve it with 400. So the new T4A will be 901. 0.21 Kelvin So you see this T4A new is actually uh, lower than the one that you get before which is the previous T4A that the old T4A that you get is actually 989.1 Kelvin so if you can mark it in your TS diagram, so this is your 989.1 and then when you have 100% efficiency, your T4A now is 901.21 Kelvin which is slightly higher than your T4 T4, which is your T4 in previous, you try to solve your T4 previously, you got 885.7 Kelvin. So now that you have another one, which is in between, in between your T4A old and your T4S. So this is somewhat 901.21 Kelvin. You see, when you solve for your thermal cycle efficiency for the new value of your T4, so this will be CP T3 minus your T4A new. So when the condition of your turbine uh, turbine will improve, therefore you will see the improvement of your thermal cycle efficiency as well. So the improvement from the old efficiency to the new efficiency is about Improvement is about uh, 8.8%. So this is how you analyze the last questions. It is a bit tricky, but you can still justify it by calculating uh, the possible uh, new thermal cycle efficiency. Right, that's all for this video. I hope. Uh, 
it will help you in your uh, revisions.